Hey guys, this here are two interview the Boji Leg Leg Star Wars Freemaker Adventures Nah Raid. So this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just six to fourteen, and this is set one for two. It's the fifth one in the set, and uh, comes with forty-one pieces. And here it shows that you can combine the Tie Fighter with the ATT. So this is the top. You have the actual size of the figure. This is the side. This is the other side, bottom, and finally the back. It shows you the ATT and also the uh, ATAT pilot, I believe. And it shows you that you can combine it together. So, yeah, that's all from that. That's pretty much it for the box. So, this is the instruction manual right here, and as you can see, it's um, pretty big. And yeah, this is the back. It shows you uh, how to build uh, the TIE Fighter with the uh, ATT. So, yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So, this is the figure itself right here, and she does have a red lightsaber with a black hilt, which is cool. Uh, let's remove that. And for the figure itself, she does have this kind of broken up cape. You have her hair piece. You have the face print with the tattoo style thing, and you have the expression, this blank expression, and uh, there's no alternate expression for this figure, and uh, for the torso uh, printing, you have uh, her robes in this green kind of color, you have the belt, and you have the leg printing, you know, and there's no back printing for this figure. And yeah, this is how it looks like. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the figure. So this is the TIE Fighter build itself right here. So let's start with the front. So the front, you have this cockpit piece, which is not printed, but um, it's a transparent dish piece, which looks pretty cool. And at the side, you have the wings. They are connected by a single Technic connector which allows it to spin around and you can put it to this pose and yeah that's uh, great and the other side is also the same and on the interior of this craft I guess you have this modified 1x2 piece and you have uh, this ramp top thing and here you can put on uh, the figure uh, but you have to raise the hand up and you can put her in and you can uh, flip up the ramp and she stands in there pretty nicely so yeah aside from that that's about it for the TIE Fighter build so overall conclusion of this figure here so how do I think of it well the figure itself I think the printing for the figure here is not very good um, the printing for her face here is fine but the printing for the torso and the legs they aren't that good um, yeah they just look bad and they're supposed to be gray and they are in green for some reason so yeah that does kind of suck but I do like the hair piece though it looks pretty cool and the cape, I'm not sure why it's uh, this broken up version. Um, it should be the normal version. So, yeah. Uh, and her lightsaber here is fine. And I think the TIE Fighter build here is pretty good. Uh, the TIE Fighter is the reason that I got this figure. Because the TIE Fighter looks cool. And yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. You know, you can move the wings and stuff. But so... Yeah, overall, um, I don't recommend you getting this set because the quality of this set is just bad. If you want a Nare figure, you should just uh, buy a Zin or a Pogo version. They are much better. And uh, for the build, you can just build a Mini TIE Fighter with your own pieces. Or you could get the Star Wars uh, Solo Story TIE Fighter Poly Bag. Um, but yeah. Overall, I don't recommend you getting this set because the quality of the set here just sucks. So, if you want to buy the set here, I'll put my link to it down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon.